guys, we're back, and today, we're in the mainland of Japan again, and today, or well, this weekend, it's Christmas weekend, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're gonna cross something off of our Japan bucket list. Our goal is to see Mount Fuji. We're going to Fuji Yoshida. It's this village, I guess it's probably an actual city. It's, it's a this city that sits at the bottom of Mount Fuji. I'm very excited. I have very high hopes because December is the number one month for viewing the mountain. It's got the best visibility. You can even see Mount Fuji from Tokyo, which is like a hundred kilometers away. Theoretically, we should be able to see it from the bottom. Flip that around. Look at that car. Look at this old car. So, for those of you that don't know, we have hiked Mount Fuji before. We have been to the top. We have been to Tokyo multiple times. We have been to Hakone, which is another great viewing place to see Mount Fuji. But we have yet to see Mount Fuji from anywhere other than beneath our feet. <laughs> yeah. The reason that happened is because every time we've been there, there have been clouds. Yes. Lots and lots of clouds. So, like, yeah, every time we've tried to see the mountain has been in the fall. And I guess fall is like the worst time to try to see it. It's got the worst visibility. Yeah, September 2018, we actually climbed it. September 2019, we took like three hours worth of trains to go to Hakone National Park with my dad. My dad came to Tokyo and it was so cloudy. It was the worst weather. Oh my gosh. And when we climbed Mount Fuji. So the tradition too is to climb Mount Fuji and view the sunset, the sunrise from the top. Worst sunrise of my life. This is like our redemption trip for Mount Fuji. We're really hoping for really good weather and really good views. So that's pretty much why we're coming here is to actually finally get to see Mount Fuji because that's been on our Japan bucket list for Ever. forever, the whole time since we've been here. Hope you enjoyed this video, but that's all for now. Bye-bye. Okay, we did it. We finally saw Mount Fuji. It's so beautiful. I mean, we technically saw it last night, but you guys got to see it this morning. Well, we, we saw it in the dark. Yeah, it was like, it's much more magical seeing it in the day with, with the sunrise and all the, the scenery and the snow and 
because last night <laughs> we were in the dark so we kept being like is that it is that it and then we saw like we we definitely knew it when we saw it because it was just like man that's that's a mountain all right oh wow it's just so magical and the little city looks so cute all the little colorful buildings So we went to Takayama and Shirakawa go in February. Wow, that was just this year. And it had all these little cute little farmhouses and traditional Japanese style homes. But we found one. We found a little similar village. It looks just like it, but like smaller version, but with Fuji. And it looks so pretty. So that's where we are now. Oh, Aww. So it's all on. Integrity. got done at Lake Kawaguchiko Natural Living Center. Is that what it's called? Correct. It's just a gift shop. <laughs> we kind of thought, I mean, I thought it was going to be kind of like a museum telling us a little bit about the area. Though it is pretty cool because it sells a lot of local goods. It sells a lot of lavender and a lot of blueberry, which I guess is known to the region. I also wanted to get on here to tell you that if you're trying to spot Mount Fuji, Obviously winter is the best, but also morning because like we can still see it pretty clearly But it's getting very very cloudy already and it's only noon if you want a crystal clear photo video of Mount Fuji Go at sunrise. So yeah when we climbed it we when we climbed in September It was still like 70 or 80 on the ground, but it was below freezing at the top 9 degrees Celsius on the ground So it's 48 degrees Fahrenheit on the ground. So it's at least zero degrees 
Fahrenheit up there. That's the most brutal part about Fuji, I think, is there's nothing to block the wind. Anyway, it's lunchtime now. We're going to go find some lunch, and then we're going to explore the other lakes and the rest of the region for today. Yeah, we have no real plans for this trip other than like a few major photo spots. The rest is just kind of like, mm, that looks interesting. That looks cool. That was delicious. I have no room left in my stomach. <laughs> I'm ready to go climb that thing. Burn off some calories. <laughs> that was probably the most delicious meal I've ever had in Japan. We ate way too much. We probably ate enough for three, maybe four people. No, no, no. Just, just, pro we probably ate our normal amount, but we went to a patisserie like two hours ago. So we weren't ready to eat our normal amount but we ordered our, our normal amount anyway. <laughs> it's called hoto, it's this, it's a special dish of Yamanashi Prefecture. Highly recommend getting hoto, whether it's at this restaurant or at any restaurant. So it's, it's not like udon thick, it's like long and thick. Anyway, now we're going to an ice cave, some lookout points, the ice cave, the ice cave. some lookout points and an open air museum which is kind of like another little farm village with old rural Japanese houses and I'm very excited. A major feature of this cave is the year-long average temperature is between 0 to 3 degrees Celsius and is a delightful cool spot to enjoy during the summer. The, what do you call it? The open air museum was closed today. For Christmas. I guess for Christmas. They're only, f from December 1st to Christmas, they're only open on the weekends. And it's Friday. So starting tomorrow, they're open every day. <laughs> oh, wow. But that wasn't on Google, so. Oh, well, it was only like 10 minutes out of our way. We'll just come back tomorrow. We'll have more time tomorrow anyway. That's really all we have for today. Sunset at Motosu Lake. We're gonna go try to find the sign real quick. And then that's it for today. We're gonna grab some dinner, try to snap some photos of the night sky with Mount Fuji. Unfortunately, we are not gonna be on the right side of the lake to actually catch the Milky Way with the mountain. So that's a bummer. But we didn't come here for that, so this is just like icing on the cake getting to do astrophotography with the mountain. If you wanna see any of our photography from this trip, from any other trips, be sure to follow us on Instagram. All three of our Instagrams are linked down below. Mine, Dan's, and then the Instagram that goes along with this channel, Emma and Dan. So go follow us there to actually get to see all of the photos that we take. Anyway, that's all we have for tonight. We will see you in the morning.
morning everybody I'm freezing it's only like oh gosh <laughs> it's only like 20 degrees it's like negative 7 Celsius the ground is frozen for anyone who's new to our channel we live in Okinawa which is subtropical and it doesn't dip below like 60 degrees Fahrenheit <laughs> we're at late Lake Yamanako or Yamanakako for the sunrise today. to the back to the open air museum and they're open today I'm very excited the Fuji cultural museum was very very good highly recommend it if you're coming to this area we learned a lot about Fuji and the history and why it's so big and the art and culture and a lot of things like that it was only 300 yen per person so I definitely recommend probably our last stop tonight before the sunset We're freezing. Very. So our camera's out there doing the hard work. <laughs> the farm village. I keep forgetting the name. I'll put it on the screen. Saiko Iyashi no Sato Ninba. Did you like it better or worse than? Than Shirakawa? Shirakawa. Better. Why? Because it was like actually, you could, there was stuff for sale in the houses. Yeah. A little local handicrafts like this little oh yeah we got a magnet. magnet here's a photo of it if it's not focused but yeah it was really cool because in shitakawa like they were all just replicas and a few of them you could walk inside no, these were all replicas they all got destroyed 
Maybe that maybe that's the the highlight of the ones in Chitakawa. They're not replicas. Yeah. I think that's the highlight in Chitakawa. But you can only go in a few of them. So, but the highlight here, though they're replicas, you can go in them all. One of them sold pottery, and one of them sold glass, and one of them sold like silk works. That's our only plans for the night. Besides more astrophotography, more homemade udon for dinner at our ryokan, more onsen. <laughs> more toasty tub. <laughs> so American of you. That's it. So I guess we'll see you back here tomorrow. Sayonara. <laughs> this morning we on our way to the airport we're headed to Hakone National Park which we went to in September 2019 to try to see Fuji we spent like three hours on a train and it was cloudy so we have to go redeem ourselves redeem Mount Fuji and try to see her from the National Park So when we were here last time, the line for the photo at the Tori gate was all the way up the stairs. And when we got here, there was like two families in front of us. And then we had like 10 minutes all to ourselves. Definitely, it I mean, in the that's true. It is like very early and December. So downside to COVID is low tourism. So downside for, you know, domestic tourism. downside for them, but upside for us. Back on the road after we just spent thirty dollars on pastries. Hey, money is just made up, and you gotta enjoy the good things of life. Yeah, it's pretty much our snacks to get us by until dinner. So Hakone was great. Glad we swung by on our way back to the airport. So we actually got to see Fuji this time. I'm gonna go to the Rainbow Bridge. Oh yeah, our last iconic japanese thing i guess we're gonna do on this trip is go to rainbow bridge in tokyo just drive across it i'm just gonna we saw it last time we went to tokyo so now we're gonna drive across it actually it was the same trip we came <laughs> to fuji to fuji <laughs> fuji and rainbow bridge just go together apparently well that is all we have for this trip but stay tuned for rainbow bridge unless you don't want to see rainbow bridge then that's fine but Thanks for coming along with us to Hakone and to Fuji Yoshida and to Fuji no Miya and just Fuji in general and all the places we went on this trip. Bye. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Oh yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and all the YouTube things down below. It helps. We're trying to make this fun for lots of people. Yeah. Especially because no one can travel to Japan right now. That's true. Yeah. Japan's not letting any tourists in for like four or five more months. If you want to help us spread more Japanese content to people who can't travel to Japan right now. Help us do that by liking and subscribing. But until next time, goodbye. <laughs> oh, nope, I guess I have to turn around. Hello everybody, it's Emma. And I feel like it's just wrong if, I don't, if you don't introduce yourself. You don't have to say your name. Hello everyone. Our name is in our channel. Okay. Hello everyone. So, 
what do I do now? It's so... <laughs> copyrighted. I meant to use the bathroom in there. Yeah. Oh my. Oh gosh, this guy's getting out of his car. Who cares? And he's watching me. We are YouTubers. We're 25 subscribers. My hands are frozen. <laughs> so he's posting a...